In this video, we are going to see how to interface Vintex EMTG01 IIoT device with Node-RED. Now, Node-RED is a programming tool. I am using Node-RED here as an OPC UA client. If you remember, in the last video, we have used UA Expert software as a UA client. But now I am using Node-RED because it has much more functions. Now, what Node-RED is doing, it is just going to read write the values from the OPC UA server, which is in this IIoT device, and it is reading and writing the values in PLC. So let's see a demo of this application. So here I've made a Node-RED dashboard in which I have a Delta PLC block here and this is a Siemens block. So these are the values from the Siemens PLC and these are the values from Delta PLC. You can see in my camera I have IoT device and Siemens and Delta PLC connected. Now if I want to check the status, you can see the output status Y0. This is red which means it's off. So in the PLC you can also notice this is off. So if I turn on my M0, this will turn on my Y0 in the PLC and I get the feedback here. And this is the feedback from the D0 resistor, which, can I, which I can also change. So for example, this is my slider, so I can write the value of D0 in the PLC and I can read that back into my dashboard. This is functional because of OPC UA server. So basically this client is reading and writing the value to IIoT device, which is further communicating with the PLC. Similarly, in case of Siemens PLC, you can see this is my M10.0. This will actuate my Q0.0. And these are the three values, value 1, value 2, value 3, which we have seen in the last videos. So I can also change the values of this DB, pretty much. And if you want to verify these values, I can show you the Siemens PLC. So here you can see that it's 1986.55. So if I maybe minimize it, put it here, and maybe adjust it. You can see the values. These are the values and I can change the values from here, from my dashboard. This is quite flexible and quite easy. So this is, we are going to see how this is possible using Node-RED and Vintech IoT device. So in the previous video, you have already seen how we can read the values from Delta and Siemens PLC. So let's see the steps to further read and write the values in the root rate. So the first step is we have to check what are the hardware required. So in this case, I'm using a Delta PLC TPP12SE, but this is the IP address of this PLC. I'm using a Siemens PLC S7-1200 with this IP configuration. And I'm using Vintech IoT device with this IP configuration. And to connect all these together, we need some Ethernet cables, of course. Now in the software, I'm using Easy Builder Pro. This was used before to configure my IoT device. And you need a PLC software as well. In this case, you need ISP Soft for Delta PLC and TIA Portal for Siemens PLC. And I'm using Node-RED, Node-RED for the Visual Dashboard. All right, so let's see the various steps involved. Now the step one is we have to make sure our PLC communicate with Vintech IoT device, CMT01, and this we can check via UA Expert software. So this is my UA Expert software, and if you have followed my last videos, I have shown how to make these tags. So I have to make sure these tags are in good condition and I can read the values. Because this is the first step to ensure that your OPC UA server connection is valid and it's reading the value from the PLC, and now we can further use it. So once you make sure the values are coming to your expert, you can start working with Node-RED. So the step one is you have to open Node-RED and you have to make flows. Now the Node-RED works on flows. So if I show you the program here, this is my Node-RED program. So here I have made some flows to read and write the value via OPC UA server. So I told you Node-RED is working as OPC UA client in this example. So this client is reading the value from the server. All right, so I've used various client nodes because I'm reading and writing the values at several addresses, okay? And I will not be explaining you how to make this logic because this is not the topic of this video. Perhaps you may check how I'm using Node-RED, how to work on Node-RED in my other videos, which might come in future. So the first step was to open Node-RED and make the flows. Now the second step is in the Node-RED, you have to link the OPC endpoint. Now you can see that the OPC UA endpoint in my web interface of the IoT, IoT device is this one. We have to use the same in our client. So the client has a target from where it has to read the values. So this is the target. So this is very important. You have to use this endpoint in your OPC UA client. And here I'm not using any security policy. So this will be none. This will be none. 
and you have to make sure you have a right authentication for anonymous user because this is right now anonymous okay so just to show you once again if I open my OPC UA client you can see this is the endpoint okay and here I am reading the value for this read command you can see the client is reading the value if I have a write command then this client has a write value or write action okay so this was the second step you have to mention your OPC UA parameters and the last step is you have to design a user interface for really writing the values this user interface I have also made in node red so if you see this LED symbol and this is a gate symbol this is going to my dashboard over here so that's how in a very simple steps you can control you can see in my camera as well the PLC with your dashboard so this is my bit M0 and these are the data registers and not only this if you have set up your node red in your local host you can also control this IoT device using your mobile all right I can show you that now so I will just open my mobile phone so I have to just go to my Chrome and you can see in my Chrome I have entered the IP address and that's the IP address of my computer of my desktop computer in which node red is running and if you see here and parallelly if you see this dashboard I have the same values reflecting here so for example in this write do if I change from my mobile to 38 it will change in my desktop and this 38 is going into the Delta PLC which we can see here this value 38 so I can change this value from my mobile as well very instantly and to control the input and output I have the switch M0 which will turn on and off my output and if we check the Siemens PLC let's come back to Siemens here we have these values and we have this input and output status so for example this M10.0 this is right now on I can turn off from my mobile device and this is actually reflecting in my dashboard as well and for the values I can also control it from my dashboard pretty amazing right so this was how you can use node red to visualize the values of IOT device so this was the task of this video I hope you understand it and if you haven't worked on node red I have mentioned some links in this video description and you can see how you can interface very easily an IOT device using node red so we'll find instruction on how to install node red and for your uh, experiment I will also put this notes this project of node red in the description of this video so you can download that and you can use it for your experiment or your, for your project so thank you for watching this video in the end I would say visualize your controller by Vintech IoT device and if you need more information you can go to the website www.vintech.com and I wish you a nice day